Today, much of the East Coast woke up to the sound of chainsaws and wood chippers one day after Tropical Storm Isaias tore through a dozen states, killing at least nine people. About three million homes and businesses lost power. Getting the lights and the air conditioners back on could take longer than usual because of the pandemic. Here's CBS's Mola Lange. From North Carolina to Maine, the cleanup is underway. Today, North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper toured a mobile home park that was destroyed by the storm. It, this is devastating to, to see what looks like, in many cases, homes exploding. In Connecticut, the storm knocked out power to hundreds of thousands of people. Stephanie Convey was inside her home when this 85-foot tree fell on it. I was sitting there reading and uh, this huge crash. On the eve of her 82nd birthday, no less, and nearly one year to the day since her husband of 57 years passed away. Was it frightening? No, I, it just because I was so grateful that nothing, you know, nothing serious had happened. Right. And, you know, a house is a house. Now, Stephanie planted that little tree right there in her husband's memory about two weeks ago. As you can see, it survived, but just barely. Now, the 70 mile per hour winds that did all of this are not common for this area, but 2020 is now shaping up to be the second most active Atlantic hurricane season ever. Forecasters are predicting roughly two dozen more storms this year, Margaret. If we use the word unprecedented one more time to talk about 2020, Mola, it is just incredible, as you say.